Okay, my friends, welcome again. So, in the previous video, we have this uh, app here. We can create a post. We display the post here, and for this, we have we made a. This is component. Create component. This is the show component, and the all is the parent post component. If you go here, yeah, the post component is the parent. The post create is is only for the create the for the form to create the post and the post show is to show single post and this is okay but when we create a form a post sorry second post we have validation but we don't yeah we create a post but we don't uh, update the, immediately the list here, the loop. Here we have the post, if I refresh, yeah, second post here. And now we need the refresh and the display. For that we need to work with the events in LiveWire. And if we go to the LiveWire documentation, we have the events here. And here you have some example of to implement this and in our case I'm going to make the first with the create post with the parent post okay so we have the post create and here we post create here's the parent post When we create a post, I want to tell to the parent we created, and if I go here to the documentation, you have from the component, this is from the template, where I click and emit the method, or from the component, from the class, this emit. So I'm just copy this and go here. Sorry. So we we create a uh, post. I'm just going to call the emit and a post created for example. Save it. And now after this we need a listener to that emit. So we need to add this uh, product. And I'm just to copy this one and set the parent listen and you want to listen to this event pass it here and we need a method for that I'm just going to call public uh, function mount And here, sorry, public all posts. I'm going to remove it from here. And inside the mount, I'm going to add this. Post. It's going to be post all and now it's going to add the mount function here. So we listen for this uh, event and when we Call this uh, mount function. So, we when we call the mount function, we add make a request to post all and add this to the to our post. Okay, I save it, and if I go here now, refresh, I create a start 
it all. And the body is going to be something. And add now. Yeah, we have the title here. Okay, if you go here, maybe I don't, I wasn't very clear how to say, but we make an emit here and we listen for that emit in our parent. Okay, with listener and this, this element. And we tell the, with that listen, we tell the amount to run this amount from method. Uh, now we need to make a, an event with a post show because uh, yeah we are okay we create another title and this date here but we if I Hit the delete button, nothing happened. Uh, not we delete the post here. So if I refresh, we have only second, third, and another. But uh, we don't update the loop here. So if I refresh now, hard refresh, yeah, we have this. So we need to make another emit event inside here. So when we delete. I'm going to this emit and I'm going to call it post deleted save and inside our parent here we are going to add another one and Another listen, okay. And this was post deleted. Pass it here, and the same thing. We are going to update the mount, the post. So I'm going to call the mount function again. Save, and if I refresh, I'm going to delete this one. Yeah, we updated the posts list. Okay, okay. So now we are totally fine. First title, first body. We hit save. We updated the, the loop. If I delete, yeah, you are okay. If I go here and refresh, we don't have anything. So this is how the event listener work in the live wire. A very powerful uh, thing here. So we clean uh, the posts. We have only the all the posts here. <clears throat> we listen for the event and we update it anytime we listen an event. We update all the posts. And here we have clean post to show single post and another one to create a post okay if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much and see you in the next video